Uh, my name is Ken Wedig. I am a father of four kids, uh, a husband of one wife. Uh, I pastor a church community um, here in the Shenandoah Valley called Early Church, and I am the community minister to the Shenandoah Valley with Coracle. I've been, uh, yeah, meeting with Bill Haley as a spiritual director for, I think, something like eight years now. And um, yeah, I've been excited to be able to, to participate and work alongside them in the mission that God's called them to. Um, yeah, and I'm excited to be with all of y'all. I'm going to be sharing um, a spiritual practice that was introduced to me um, actually by another mentor of mine probably about six or seven years ago. Um, and it's based off of the Lord's Prayer. Um, and yeah, I, most of us, especially in the liturgical tradition, will uh, be very familiar with praying the Lord's Prayer um, from front, front to back, so to speak, uh, top to bottom, um, all together out loud. And of course, that is um, very, very clearly uh, what, got, what Jesus' intention was when um, his disciples asked him, teach us how to pray. He said, pray these words in Luke. Uh, interestingly, in Matthew, um, Jesus says, pray in this way. And some of uh, those who have gone before us, some of the spiritual masters who've gone before us in the faith, have noted that within the Lord's Prayer, you can see very important and very key themes that Jesus walks us through. And in fact, there are themes which you can see at other key moments in Scripture. So, so we see the same sort of theme where in the Lord's Prayer, it begins with God and who God is and our relationship to God. And then at the very middle, the very hinge point of the prayer is on earth as it is in heaven. And then Jesus begins to take us through the practical realities, our own daily bread, forgive us our sins, um, and lead us not into temptation. And so you see this beginning with who God is, and then this hinge point of heaven and earth, and then um, petitioning with regards to our own walk here on earth. And we see the same sort of... Um, structure, you can see it, um, say, in the Ten Commandments, right, where it begins with, um, I am the Lord your God, and it begins with, you shall have no other God, and then it goes to no other gods before me, or no graven images or likeness, and do not take the Lord's name in vain, right? And then it begins, you know, remember the Sabbath day, and that's very much connected both with our relationship with God and our relationship to our own work and our rest and, and, and our, our earthly lives. And then it goes to honor thy father and mother, um, thou shalt not kill. It very much begins to be very much about um, how we function and relate in the world. And of course, when Jesus sums up along the prophets, he's, he, you know, love the Lord your God with all your heart and mind, love your neighbor as yourself. And then with, yeah, the mission of Coracle, you know, spiritual formation for kingdom action. So this is a, this is a, a duality that's intrinsic and, and crucial within our faith. And um, so... We're, we're going to walk through the Lord's Prayer in five different, um, taking it five different themes at a time. And I'm going to say the prayer, and I would encourage y'all, I know y'all are on mute, but I would encourage you, um, as you know it, to say it with me. I'll say it together, and then I will lead us. And, and so the first time, for example, will be, Our Father who is in heaven, your ha hallowed be your name. And then we're going to have about three minutes where you can just connect with your heavenly father around the holiness of who he is when the holiness of his name and just have three minutes where that is what you are pondering and praying. And then we'll go down to the next one. I'll say all together, your kingdom come, your will be done. It's okay if we're not on time because you'll only hear my voice, but you, you can do your part um, to pray that prayer and then have a time to petition about to, uh, to God about, um, yeah, for his kingdom to come, where are you seeing a need for God's kingdom right now in your own family life, in your own personal life, in our nation, um, and petitioning for his will and his kingdom um, to come. And we'll just walk through the whole thing and we'll do five different sections in that way. And yeah, the hope is, uh, you know, N.T. Wright um, has this great quote, which is, those in whom the spirit comes to live are God's new temple. They are individually and corporately places where heaven and earth meet. And I just love that quote. Um, and that's what I long to be. And that's what I long for us as the church to be, a, a place where heaven and earth meet. And I, I, I think that, and the invitation to you all today is that 
to allow this prayer to root that vision in your own heart and mind. A heaven and earth meeting place uh, with thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Okay, well, um, here we go. <clears throat> All right. Jesus says, this then is how you should pray. And together, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. I invite us as the church to pray our lives into this, this heading that Jesus has given us. Invite us to close this section of praying into who God is for us by taking a deep breath together. <sighs> Opening our time of acknowledging that God is not only our Father, but He is also a King of the Kingdom whose reign is to be on this earth. And so together we pray, Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven.
close the section praying for the reign and rule of God in our world by taking a deep breath together. And now we can move into a time of praying together for the particular needs of this day, um, whether that be need for physical bread, for um, if there's material lack in our life or life, the lives of others that we love and care about, or um, the lack of spiritual bread or social bread during this time of isolation and um, amidst the pandemic. That, yeah, our father is a good father who, when his children ask him, uh, for bread, doesn't give them a stone. And so we come asking for, for the bread of life. Um, and we come boldly before the throne of God, asking, petitioning for that which we need to sustain us, body and soul today. So together we pray, give us this day our daily bread. Close this time of petitioning our Father for those daily needs and taking a deep breath together. And we'll enter into a time of, yeah, acknowledging our own brokenness and sin in our lives, our, our coming to our our Lord, to ask for forgiveness. Um, yeah, uh, I'll say trespasses. Uh, Y'all can say whichever tradition you're, you're a part of, what you say. But we'll say it together. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us.
We'll close this time of recognizing our own need for forgiveness and our need to offer forgiveness and to forgive others by taking a big, a deep breath together. We'll lead into a time of recognizing, yeah, both the sin within, our own temptations that we will meet this day, uh, our own temptations for selfishness or for uh, power grabbing, our own temptations for, for um, yeah, um, self-unforgiveness or, 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 yeah, not loving ourselves our temptations, um, yeah, to love ourselves too much, whatever, whatever the, those temptations might be in this day, um, the sins within, but also the sins that, um, that attack us from without. We are engaging in spiritual warfare uh, when we pray and when we live our lives before God. We, we, we are enacting as spiritual beings. And so um, praying for protection um, and deliverance uh, from that, that those spiritual realities, those powers and principalities that would seek to steal, kill, and destroy. Uh, and so this is an opportunity to, to engage in that, that spiritual warfare, to go to battle together, uh, to go to battle for, for those people that you love, uh, for your own well-being. And so, yeah, allowing, allowing the Spirit to guide us, praying through the temptations within and the, the attacks from without. Uh, and together, we'll pray. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. close this time of prayer against temptation and of spiritual warfare by taking the deep breath of God's spirit together. And we invite us to conclude by praying together uh, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>